Okay, today what we're doing is a uh, transmission um, fluid replacement. I'm not going to say flush and fill because I'm not going to run the transmission and actually flush it out, but we're going to take the pan out of the automatic transmission in the 61 Comet here. Um, and more importantly, I'm trying to get to the uh, filter or screen, whatever that is. And right now what I'm doing is I'm loosening up all the bolts in the transmission pan. Now I'm not going to bore you with the details of that because there's quite a few bolts here. I don't know how many, but if you want to Google the nut right number, whatever you want, I don't care. In any case, um, when you do this, you always want to have a pan underneath you uh, to catch the fluid as it's already dripping out here. I can see it dripping out. I haven't even gotten all the bolts loosened up yet. I can already, it's already dripping out here. Um, now, when I brought this car in the uh, garage, I didn't realize how low the exhaust system that I put on there was hanging. And when I drove it up in here, it caught the exhaust system. So that's why you don't see the muffler. And this is the uh, downpipe from the exhaust manifold right here. It ripped the whole exhaust system off and in one neat package. So, Gabby, why don't you show them where, where the exhaust system's sitting right now. So at some point later on, to, uh, later on, not today, but later on, um, I'll be able to repair that. It's not, not that hard to fix. We'll, we'll, we'll just uh, get a couple, we just have to get a couple hanging uh, or clamps, hangers, new hangers to put it up with because they were broken. That's the only thing that really broke. So anyway, I'm going to have Gabby pause you right now because this is, uh... okay, we're back now. Um, I removed the pan and I just checked the uh, pan gasket to make sure I got the right one and the, the holes all lined up and they do. Got the right one to Velpro gasket. This is, uh, by the way, this is a two speed Ford automatic transmission, automatic. And the um, problem I was having was I was looking for transmission uh, filter kits. Usually a modern transmission, you get a filter, you get a gasket, and whatever hardware you need to install that. But this one here was coming with no, was, wasn't coming with any filter. And all transmissions have some sort of filter, but then I remembered um, an old commercial from back when I was a kid about how they would clean the uh, sump and screen. Well, this is the sump, the pan is, the bottom of the pan is considered a sump, and the filter would, is what they used to call a screen, because it's a, if you look at it, a screen. So, um, I looked at it and decided that uh, I want to do it the old fashioned way, clean it up, use a little bit of brake clean on it, cleaned it out nice, and um, there you go. It's all cleaned up, ready to go. So, um, I uh, saved you the uh, horrors of the uh, disaster I had under there, the murder scene disaster. Uh, spilled ATF everywhere under the floor, on the floor, and it's uh, it's a mess. So, incidentally, um, I wasn't sure how this um, filter attached, and that's what this black thing is for. It's a strap that attaches the filter to the bottom part of the transmission, and um, it clips on one side on a tang and this little screw here screws in on the other side to hold it in and it saddles over top of the um, filter and this gets uh, there's one opening there it gets uh, put on to and another opening there that gets put on to and um, I was quite happy when I, I took this down I did not see any metal shavings to speak of a little bit of dirt but that's normal and the screen was not too bad. There was one little chunk of dirt. Um, there's a few more chunks of dirt. I'll take the air hose to it and get it cleaned out. But <clears throat> um, it's one little chunk of dirt. Nothing. No metal shavings. No no shards. No slurry of metal or anything like that, which is good. And um, so it indicates that the transmission was serviced in its lifetime. 
on this uh, old jalopy. So that's good, that, that makes me happy. So maybe this transmission has a little bit more life left in it and save, it'll save me a little bit of money. So anyway, I'm just doing this video to show you exactly what you, you're dealing with when you have this transmission um, to uh, do a fluid change and cleaning, I guess you would say. Um, there wasn't anything online, so I'm going to put this on. I wanted to put this on in case anybody else had the same issue. So I guess most people have these transmissions, get rid of them and put a four speed, three speed C4 or an AOD or something like that. It's a little bit better than a crappy two speed, but we're on a budget here and don't have a lot of money to spend. So we're going to run with what we have until we can't run it anymore. So anyway, I'm going to pause this now and uh, I'm going to put this uh, pan or actually I'm going to go underneath there and scrape off some of that old gasket material off the bottom of the transmission, get it cleaned up, ready to go back on and, uh, and reinstall the uh, filter and put it back together and put some transmission float in it. And when this is over, I will come back. Bye. Okay. It's just going to be a shot of the uh, underside, the transmission without the pin. And the filter reinstalled. And if I can get it straight there, you can see that strap that holds it on right here. There's a screw, flat headed screw. And it's going to have to scrape off some of this old gasket material. Guess I should have done this before I put the filter back on, but it's too late now. Most of it came off of the pan, but there you go. Like I said, just a shot of that.